Let us move on now to step number nine. Step number nine says that we need to deselect the picture, apply a three point page border to the document using the shadow setting, select the first style and then display the color palette. In the fourth uh, column, select the first color. Okay. Let us do exactly what it says we need to do. Okay. So let's go back to the main document. And uh, the first instruction says we need to deselect the picture. To deselect the picture is to click elsewhere other than on the picture. So when the picture is selected, you will see it has this uh, thing appearing. But the moment it's deselected, it doesn't have anything. Okay. So, okay, they said we need to deselect the picture and then apply a three point page border. To apply a, to, to, to add a page border, you go to your layout and then you need to click on this arrow here. Once you've clicked on this arrow, uh, you've, you'll get uh, these options. Then it's uh, margins, paper and layout. We want the one we need to click on the one that says layout. Once you click on the one that says layout, you'll see here at the bottom, you have borders. Click on that, and then you'll get your options. Uh, the instructions say that we need to use the one, the sh shadow. This is the shadow one. And then uh, let me read it again. Okay, deselect the picture, apply three point, three point page border to the document using the shadow setting okay we've done that select the first the first style so when they say select the first style they mean this one the styles are here the first one is this one which looks like a line okay okay select the first style the style and then display the color palette so this is the color palette let's 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 display Okay, you display it by clicking on the down, the drop down menu and then they said on the okay display display the color palette in the fourth column. Fourth column it's one, two, three, four. They say you must uh, select the first color. Then you click on this one. Click on that one. Okay. Remember they tell they told you to change the width to what to a three point then we need to that was the first instruction three point we click on the three point and then you click on okay then you will have your borders it should have something like this these are the borders that we were inserting right so that is step number step number nine